term. Well, that it? it's not after a big Christmas lunch. <laughs> no, it? not at all. <laughs> um, not with me at the moment. I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, we'd wanna we'd wanna cut, obviously strip the door, cut the door skin off, sandblast the door frame, repair as necessary, try and try and use the original door frame. Around here, we've also got missing bumpers both sides. Yep. So there are bits in Rear here. Rear lights are in there, and they're, they're original. It's these lights there that's what makes the Series 1 so sexy, isn't it? It's like the whole, all these little bits. I found the old, well, the newer cars, effectively, the Series 2s and 3s, nothing like as sexy as these Series Well, the ones. lights on those are lower, below the bumper, yeah. whereas the Series 1s are above the bumper. It just yeah. gives it that classic. Absolutely. So, ooh, my word. Oh right. So we got bits. Oh right. Aha! A seat. Right. Well, that's that's good. And that. Yeah. Now we're talking. Right. This looks a bit disastrous, mate. It's way off. Well. It's either a collapsed hinge or adjustment. It's not bolted up here. Yeah, the bolts are loose. All so right. that's that's. Uh, when you lift it up, does it actually shut and fit, or is it? No, it's not bad, is yeah, it? Yeah, we've got it on the first click, and there's the second click. Okay. So and the gaps look look okay. okay. If you'd had, if there'd been accident damage, which is always my big worry about right. buying an old car, is that has somebody actually pranged this badly and it's right. been poorly put together do you end up with really badly fitting panels and things you can you know there are some artists out there that can craft the car and make it look very very neat and tidy but I, I've just gone round the car and just basically look looking at the screen pillars how they fit the door frames uh, the gap in um, it's just little telltale signs that would leap out so what's your overall verdict uh, the overall verdict is I mean, the car is full of original parts. There's a lot of parts there, all look original. That's what I like to see. If we can buy a car that is complete, virtually 99% complete, it's a, it's a big step forward. It really is. But I think that's the stage now, I think we really need to get it back to the workshop and on a ramp and, and have a better look at, at the underside and. All right. on the ramp. Alright Steve, do you want to get back to the workshop and I'll um, make this call and yep. get Yeah, I'll, I'll crack on. Check out about that hood and yeah. I'll speak to you later Mark. Right. See you mate. Okay, cheers. Right, cheers mate. Now, could this be the latest addition to my motoring family. Well, I've got a few things to sort out, the phone call, check it in the workshop and so on. But while I crack on with that, take a look at Paul Clarkin's 1970 Roadster. It's a concourse condition car. And if I can get my E-Type to look half as good as his, I'm gonna be a happy man. was when new capable of doing 150 miles per hour. I've had the car for eight years now. First purchased in 92, and it, I've restored it in that time completely. Complete nut and bolt restoration. It's cost me twice as much as I budgeted for. I expected it to do it in a year. It's taken me six and a half years, so Really, if you take, want to take a nut and bolt ground up restoration, it's a long, it's a long haul and an expensive one. Probably, a, like everyone else, a boyhood dream growing up in the early 60s, you know, a teenager. A Jaguar was out of my reach then. When you get a little bit older, you can sort of afford these toys. I hate to think how many hours that I have put in 
Facebook, my wife wanted to know if you wanted to move the house into the garage. I was spending so much time in the garage. I never counted the hours, but most weekends and most evenings. I enjoyed the rebuilding. I enjoyed the satisfaction, obviously, of completing the car. And I also enjoyed driving it and get lots of admiring glances, even from, from young children or to, to old age pensioners, really. Uh, because of the condition it, in, it is in now, from, from what it was. It was uh, what I would describe a, a basket case completely. It was two choices. One was a knacker's yard, or the other was a, a restoration. There's lots of aftermarket suppliers now supplying parts for these cars. I would say you could probably almost rebuild one off the shelf. But, you know, it wouldn't be original. It would have to be something special if I did another car. I am looking out for a special project, uh, and I think it would have to be something very good to take the place of the E-Type. Very difficult car to beat, I think. Okay. So you found a nice girl with a tractor.